And now, serving the Ozarks, sponsored by NAV Restoration and Huey Magoo's Chicken Tenders. Every Thursday, we are serving the Ozarks, and tonight we're highlighting The Gathering Tree, a nonprofit that is building affordable neighborhoods for the chronically homeless. You've likely heard of the tiny home communities called Eden Village. Well, this week, I stopped by the first Eden Village on East Division Street to say thank you and to bring free lunch to staff, volunteers, and the residents living alongside each other in the neighborhood. And while visiting, I got to be there for a very special moment. A man who is battling cancer and spent more than a decade on the streets was well welcomed into his new home. Take a look. Transforming unused land and former trailer parks yeah. into colorful communities for those who spent a year or more on the streets. And I thought these homes have everything you could possibly ever need with a little under 400 square feet. So I said to go from a tent to a tiny home would be a perfect transition. It was just an idea when Linda and David Brown decided in 2016 they wanted to make a lasting difference in the lives of the chronically homeless. Today, they are at a halfway point to an overall goal of building five tiny home communities in Springfield, a total of 200 neighbors living and working together to keep each other on the right path. The house is important, but what really makes it work is the community. It's intimate, they get to know each other. This is their village now. They take ownership and they're proud of it, and we've given them dignity. That's the huge thing, is dignity. Nate Schluter has helped hundreds go from unhoused to home sweet home. Our average resident was homeless seven years before they got their forever home at Eden Village. Um, so when somebody moves in, like Bill just moved in for the first time, we fully expect that Bill will be our neighbor for the rest of his life. Welcome to the humble abode. Praise the Lord. Everybody is welcome here. It's powered by donations and grants, but also by an army of volunteers serving the Ozarks by using community to heal the wounds of homelessness. Our unhoused friends, once you talk to them, then your perception changes on what causes it and why they're there, and they're really no different than the rest of us. And the Eden Village model is gaining national recognition. It's been adopted by the city of Wilmington, North Carolina. One just opened in Kansas City and one in Tulsa, Oklahoma is a few weeks away from completion. If you know of a group that is doing outstanding work by giving back to the people in our community, let us know by sending an email to servingtheozarks at nextstar.tv.